5. Welcome everybody to a brand new show here at Game Code called The Code Report, where we bring you the breaking news and awesome topics that are going on around the gaming community. Hopefully uh, you enjoy what we have to bring you. Uh, we're going to try to bring you this weekly and anytime major news gets dropped. So today we have a couple things on the docket which you'll be able to see on the screen. The first one is some kind of cool news or potentially cool hints that Psychonauts 2 may be releasing soon. And the reason we think this is a couple things that we've noticed uh, out in the community. First reason is they did drop on Game Pass Psychonauts 1 uh, made by the legendary Tim Schafer. And then also we have noticed that Psychonauts 2 now has a deal with Game Informer to bring you exclusive preview coverage uh, that will be dropping throughout the next couple weeks. What that thing makes us think is that this is a lead up to E3 where they will drop the surprise announcement that it will be available for download after the show. Uh, we don't have any confirmation of that obviously yet, but every indication seems to be leading that it's going to be sooner rather than later. And I would expect because of the Xbox drought in games, in brand new games, I would expect that they really want to get this one out to people and it looks in a pretty final form based upon some of the footage that you're seeing as well. Next thing on the list is another Xbox exclusive um, that's also coming to PC as well called The Ascent. Uh, and the reason why we're bringing this one up is because previews have started to drop. Uh, IGN recently covered this as well as a couple other small uh, news, news outlets covered this and they have some really glowing things to say about the cyberpunk top-down shooter. Uh, things like Hunter the Reckoning is what they kind of tallied it back to which is an old game from my past and that I really enjoyed as well and uh it just looks like it nails the aesthetic and vibe so I'm keeping an eye, a close eye on this one to see if it comes out as something that is really worthwhile to check out um a couple of things to note is that they announced the release date and the release date is July 29th so that's not too far from now about a couple months out you're going to be able to get your hands on that one it is included day and date on game pass as well as, as and so is Psychonauts 2 and if you're not as fan of the Game Pass, which I'm not sure why you wouldn't be, it's $30 if you only want to purchase it outright. So that's not too bad of a deal. I really appreciate when they can give you a little bit of a discount for something that may be an unknown quantity. So it's kind of cool. You should be able to get your feet wet regardless of whether or not you want to shell it for Game Pass or if you want to just pay for it up directly. Cool. Next thing on the list is... Industry insider Jeff Grubb actually says that he has sources that tell him Starfield is an exclusive to Xbox. Now, this is no surprise. We all kind of had an indication or at least a feeling over here at GameCode that you don't spend seven and a half billion dollars on buying a car or acquiring a company like Bethesda to have them make multi-platform games. So... While I do think there are going to be a couple mainline series that may continue with some of their future updates, like Wolfenstein, if it's it's one of those things where they're continuing the story, or a multiplayer shooter that they might be uh, continuing, I don't expect their mainline major single-player series like Elder Scrolls or Fallout or, uh, as you can see, Starfield. I do not expect that to be uh, multi-platform that is going to be an xbox exclusive jeff grubb says you can write about it now you can print that information that he's so confident in the information that he's being given that that is not going to be available on other platforms that's a pretty huge get for xbox it still uh has to play out because xbox needs these games sooner rather than later so we're hoping that this is going to either be something that comes at the end of the year though jeff grubb thinks it's going to be sometime in 2022 so if that's in 2022 let's hope for the first half because that would be a really cool opportunity right after infinite to dive into uh, a great game like potentially a great game like starfield Cool, that's enough Xbox news for now. Uh, we're gonna switch gears over to PlayStation 5's next big game, and I gotta say, I cannot be more excited for this. I'm a little disappointed that I haven't got my hands on a PS5 yet. However, I will say, doesn't really matter, I'll find a way to play this game. It's one of those situations where sometimes when you see a game coming out that looks so good, you just have to find a way to play it. Ratchet and Clank looks like that game. So PlayStation 5 is getting an exclusive Ratchet and Clank game. Uh, that is going to absolutely blow us all away. The release date for Ratchet and Clank is June 11th, so you have only so little time to wait for that. It's about three weeks away, so get ready for that. It should be very exciting. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think is going to be the best part about that game. 
uh, and what has you hyped about that game as well. I, I'm really looking forward to this. So huge get for Sony. I think this is one of those things that's going to launch it into a good, strong rest of the year. We're really in a good time for gaming. There's a lot of games that are going to be coming down the pike, and it's going to be exciting to see. All. Next thing on the list, uh, talking about great games, uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition is out now. Now, I know that it's out now because I have sunk probably 30 hours into this this game, uh, well, this trilogy package uh, because I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. My entire friend group right now has been playing that. We've been talking about it. We can't stop talking about the kind of like little rediscoveries that we've had in a game that we fell in love with originally but have had to come back to. Now that I've finished Mass Effect 1 and I'm on a Mass Effect 2, I gotta say, it is completely, without a doubt, a fantastic purchase. The upgrades are completely worth it. It makes you feel like you're playing it kind of in a modern, with a modern coat of paint, and it's really cool. Mass Effect 1 got a huge upgrade. Highly recommend you check that one out. Hopefully you enjoy uh, the uh, the game as well, and let us know what your favorite part, or maybe, actually, let us know what your favorite character is from that series when you get a chance to get your hands on it. Next thing on the list, E3 expectations videos will be incoming. So Game Code and our community here, we got Silent Striker and Delightful Dylan, partners of the channel that are going to definitely want to be dropping their thoughts. We may even bring on a couple of our uh, partner friends uh, as well to get some more perspectives and ideas about what might be coming down, especially for the Sony side, since I have a couple friends that have PS5s already. That's really exciting. I would love to kind of hear your thoughts on what you expect to see from Xbox and Sony and what would what would kind of demote a success there. We're really excited to see what's coming for E3. Should be real soon where we'll start to get leaks and information. So stay tuned to the code report. You will get it all here. And as again, thank you so much for tuning in. So stay tuned and stay classy, coders.